Evernote Collapsible Headers and Anchor Links. That's what we're talking about today. Hi, this is Frank Buck, and this is the place to be if you want to get organized and make it look easy. Organizing your information on the page makes it easier to see what you have. For example, when I write a blog post or a newspaper column, I make it a point to use headers throughout to divide the text into sections. It looks better for the reader, and it helps you get an overall feel for what that article is about. Well, Evernote's always given us the ability to put headers in our notes. We can have them in three levels, small, medium, large. But one of the new enhancements for 2024 is something that you may have already run across, even if nobody told you about it. It's called collapsible headers. When you create a header, you'll see an arrow point to the left of it. You can toggle it open or close to show or hide the text within that section. Now, if you're watching the video version of this episode, I'm showing you the actual note that I'm using to plan the content that you're consuming right now. I toggle the arrow point to open the script, and then I compose. And then when I want to concentrate on something else related to this post, I toggle the arrow point to collapse that section. When I collapse a header, it collapses everything below it until it reaches a header of the same or higher level or a divider line. In an example that I'm showing on the screen, I've expanded the large header. With one click to collapse that large header, it'll hide everything until the divider. As a result of the collapsible header, I've reworked some of the templates that I use. Instead of using tables to hold various parts of a note, I use the headers. For example, here's my meeting template. So if you're listening to the audio version, come over to the blog or YouTube channel to take a look. When I create the note, I start by linking it to the calendar event in my Evernote calendar that's reading directly from my Google calendar. That step is going to supply a big shaded box with the title of the meeting, the date and time, the Zoom link, and anything else in the details of the meeting that's over on Google Calendar. Then I just insert my little template that has all the rest. Everything that you see there is a header that I can collapse or expand. Now, right now, collapsible headers are only available on the desktop software and on Evernote web. They've not yet come to mobile. The plan for many of the enhancements is to bring them first to your computer and then expand to mobile. We have another enhancement that makes creating headers easy. From anywhere within the note, hit the slash. It's the one located on the same key as the question mark. A list of options appears. You can click on any of the header options, and you can do that before you type the header, or you can click anywhere in existing text, hit the slash, and click on a header level. That entire line of text will now become the header. To make things even easier, you have keyboard shortcuts. Try this. Hit the slash key, type the number one, and hit enter. You've just created a large header. Likewise, slash two, enter, creates a medium header. Slash three, enter, creates a small header. I have one more technique for you. I love linking things to other things. When a task is related to a particular email, I like to copy the link to that email, and it's easy to do if you're using Gmail, and just then paste that link into the task. When it's time to do the task, one click, and I'm looking at the email that has that supporting information. Well, Evernote has always let us link to any note. Within a note, we can click the three-dot menu in the upper right corner and copy either the app link or the web link and you can paste that link into another Evernote note. A task, you can paste it in a Google Doc. You can paste it in a spreadsheet, in a Word Doc, or in your calendar, just to name a few. One click opens that Evernote note from wherever you happen to be. But now we can go a step further. 
we can have a link not just to the note, but to any particular spot in the note, and we do it through the headers. So the next time you create a header in Evernote, notice the little link icon that appears to the right. Click on it. You've just created a link to that particular header. You can paste it anywhere you need to. Now you're one link away from that spot in the note. And like with anything else, the more you practice, the more automatic this process becomes. So here's your call to action for this week. Create a blank note and create some headers. You don't have to click and highlight all the text to make changes. Click anywhere in the text and use the slash and the numbers one, two, or three. Enter, and there's your header automatically. Click the link icon to create an anchor link. Paste it somewhere. Then click and watch it take you right back to where you were in Evernote. I just think this is so neat. And if you're an Evernote user, I hope that collapsible headers and anchor links makes your note tagging experience easier and more fun. Leave me something in the comments on the blog post or the YouTube channel to let me know what you think about these new features and any ideas you have in particular for how you'll be using them. If you enjoyed this episode, there's plenty more on frankbuck.org. Join the email list for two free gifts and so that you'll never miss a thing. Thanks for stopping by. This has been Frank Buck, helping you get organized and make it look easy.